Hi guys, so today is my 20 week update. Yay! I have made it halfway. Sorry about the noise in the background. I've got my two year old and she is watching TV, watching World World. Um, anyways, today is my 19 week update. Very excited about that. We're halfway there. Um, this week has been one eventful, eventful week. <laughs> Between a dog coming and attacking my dog, and just there's been so many different things. Um, I don't remember everything, but it's been quite the crazy week. I've had some issues with family disowning me for whatever reason they have. Um, other than that, we're going to get to the pregnancy vlog. This week, um, like I said, it's 20 weeks. Um, I've had a couple different um, things on size for the baby. One says that the size of the baby is a banana this week. Another one says it's the size of a small cantaloupe. Are you okay? Put your arm up. Gotta drink it slower. Um... There was something else that it said that it was on my Ovaya app, which I don't remember what that was. I didn't write it down. But this week, um, I'm going to go with the size of a banana. The baby is 6.5 inches long, or they're now measuring baby from head to heel. So it, the baby is technically like 10 inches long. Um, but I'm going to go with the 6.5 inches long, and the baby is 10.58 ounces. So we're definitely over that halfway mark, or over that half a pound mark. Um, this week, the baby's gender can be determined with no issues. Um, the meconium, the baby's first poop, the tari... Yucky, I've always hated the first poop with the meconium because it sticks to the baby. It is so hard to get off of them. Um, with my first daughter, I think I ended up with my finger going through the wipe and into the meconium. It's just nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, but that is starting to develop this week. And my uterus is up to my belly button now, which... Um, this week with the baby movement, I have felt the baby's movement in different places. Go sleep then. Okay, so how far along am I? 20 weeks. Um, we've done the baby size, which is the size of a banana. Sleeping this week has not been very good. My youngest has decided that she wants to stay up until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, so mommy's not getting much sleep. But thankfully, she sleeps in later in the morning when she does that. So it makes it to where I can go back to sleep after I get my older oldest off to school for a little bit. And then we'll get up and watch our TV and eat breakfast, play games. I love being a mom. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, and I'm going to hate when they get older and don't want to be around mommy anymore. Um best moment this week I'm going to have to say my best moment this week has been being able to feel the baby out on the outside um, hubby's not felt it yet he's been trying like crazy to feel the baby move uh, from the outside help put his hand on my belly and jiggle it a little bit and try and get the baby to move but baby don't want to move <laughs> um, not missing anything nothing at all really um Besides sleep. Um, cravings this week. I don't really think that I've had any cravings this week. Because, uh, yeah, I can't say that. Because um, I have had this thing for onions. And not just onions in general. I want a cheeseburger with Miracle Whip, mustard, um, onions and sweet relish. 
if my sandwich is not made like that, I don't want it. It does not do me no good. And I've ate several sandwiches like that this week. I don't know why I'm craving onions, but I'm craving onions majorly this week. Um, gender, we don't find out until next Friday. So before you see my 21-week update, you will see a gender um, a vlog. I'm still undecisive on what I'm going to do for the gender reveal. No labor signs yet. I am having Braxton Hicks contractions um, here and there. Nothing major. It's just more so when I do too much. And we ended up having a dog fight in our yard. A dog came into our yard and started beating up on ours. Our dog was out on the chain because... We have a dog that likes to take off, but our dog's not allowed to be, or not supposed to be in the house, um, according to the landlord. But we've had to have him in here a few for the last few days because the dog has done, has put a couple holes in his bottom. So we've been doctoring him and taking care of him, make sure he's okay. But that was not a fun night. I I had to run from inside the house to outside the house because I heard it and then I had to run back into the house. I got a broom trying to hit the dog because the dog would not leave our dog alone. He just kept going back after him. So I was in pain that night. My back hurt really bad. Um, wedding rings, I still can't wear them. Um, I'm not even going to put them back on this pregnancy because of the situation that it did to my finger. I don't want that rash and blisteriness on my fingers again. So, because that was very irritating for like two or three weeks, I just kept scratching it, scratching it, scratching it. It, it was so itchy. It was irritating. Uh, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, looking forward to, um, the thing that I'm looking forward to this week is going to be my, um, Mid-pregnancy ultrasound. I have not seen baby since baby was eight weeks and three days. So it's been a very, very long time. I cannot wait to see the profile and how big the baby is and um, how the baby has grown and definitely the gender so that we can start buying some things. We actually are going to pick up a few things this weekend, but um, I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, symptoms for this week are, um, last night I had some cramping, which I think has something to do with my uterus growing. It wasn't nothing major. It's just been periodically throughout the pregnancy. I'll, I'll get a little crampy, like, and it's not like period cramps. It's like way less than period cramps. Uh, back aches, a lot of back aches, but I've been doing a lot of deep cleaning this week. I rearranged my living room. I move stuff around to where I could put my chair to where it is now so that I can be in the living room and nursing the baby in the living room and things like that. And then I've been pretty emotional this week as well. I don't know if it's just because of the issues that I've had with family this week or what, but I have been pretty emotional. Even talking about it starting to make me tear up. So, um, but yeah, I've been pretty emotional. I've been moody. I feel bloated here and there, and I feel like my belly, last night, I, I told my husband, I said, does my belly look like it's shrunk, because I feel like it, maybe it's shrunk, because I look a little thinner to myself, I mean, it could just be that I was bloated the other days, and yesterday I wasn't really bloated, um, my feet, cold, all the time. I cannot walk around my house without socks on now because my feet are freezing cold. Um, the frequent going to the bathroom has come back again. And I have, you can't tell right now because I actually did my makeup today, which is awesome because I have not done my makeup in months. <laughs> and it wasn't because of the pregnancy, really. It's I'm not a person that really wears makeup very often. But I felt good enough to put some makeup on today. So you can't really see it, but I've got some breakouts on my chin. Which is weird because my pregnancy with my daughters, when I broke out, it was my entire face. Um, 
that's it for the the updating on how me and baby are doing this week um so this weekend we're supposed to be going and picking up a a crib and a changing table dresser and a playpen through um somebody that's through facebook i I have to go the used way. I can't afford to buy brand new, so we're going the used way. And actually, I got a really good deal on the uh, crib and dresser that I'm getting for the baby. Um, so we're supposed to be picking that up this weekend as long as something doesn't happen and she's not like the rest of them and sells it before I can get to uh, picking it up probably Saturday. Um... I've got my baby registry done, talking about getting my, doing my, um, baby shower in April, and mommy got a gift this week. This gift is for the hospital. I, I've only got it out right now for the moment, but, um, my grandmother... God bless her so I love her today. Um, me and my grandmother have like a mother-daughter relationship. So anytime I need something, she makes sure I got it if she can afford to do it. And she, um, for my daughter Emily, she bought me a nightgown, a pant and shirt set, and a zipper robe for the hospital. Well, that zipper robe, I just completely wore it out to the point where the zipper broke. I can't use that robe. So, Grandma went to stage, and she ordered me a new robe. And it's so soft, and I cannot wait to wear this thing, but... To keep from it getting messed up, I'm going to put it in my bag and get it ready for the hospital. So, and here within the next few weeks, I'm going to start buying my stuff from my hospital bag. And you guys will see a labor bag. There's not going to be a what's in my baby's hospital diaper bag because I'm not packing a hospital diaper bag. I'm packing the diaper bag for use for the vehicle to take with. It's going to go in the truck and it's going to stay there and baby stuff that I'm taking with is going to go in my bag because the after having two babies I already know you don't need that much stuff the best thing to do is call your hospital and find out what they provide but most generally they provide everything you need except for your picture outfit and your going home outfit so there's not going to be much for baby Okay, so we will get into that into another vlog. Thank you for watching. If you're new, my name is Callie. I am 28 years old, and I have two daughters, two and seven, Emily and Jordan. And I am expecting baby number three, and we are halfway through. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if there's something different that I can do with my videos, let me know. I have no issues with taking people's advice. I actually like advice and like it when people tell me, hey, you're doing this wrong. Why don't you try this? Okay, that works. So, um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. If you have any more other vlog suggestions, let me know. Um, if you like this video, click the like button. If you would like to continue the journey with me and my children and um, the labor and delivery. I'm going to try and vlog that, but I don't know just yet if that is allowed to be video recorded. If not, then I will update you as throughout the process as well as I can. Um, thank you. Um, subscribe if you want to continue going through with us. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.